Hey, what's up guys? North Designs here, and today I'm going to be doing my Norris Deformer tutorial, like I promised. So, I'm just going to, uh, what you're going to want to do is open up Sonoma for you. By the way, link in the description for seven free plugins by somebody. This guy's really cool. Um, Noise Deformer is included. So, all you're going to want to do is you'll get a RAR file. Um, see if I can find it. Hold on. Um... Okay, so I have R13, so I downloaded this one here, and then it will come like this. So I just usually open it, and then I would select all of these, and I extract them to your Cinema 4D plugins folder. Um, so like if you were up here, um, it'll just be a shortened URL there. So you're gonna wait five seconds up here click skip ab and then if you have r12 or r11.5 or r10 r98 or r13 you're going to want to click it and also says over here right here um 9.6 and all that so then you would just click it it'll automatically it's like a direct uh thing and then it'll come up into winware file anyways so once you get it you put them in there and it'll all be right here so let's put a text object in here. So MoGraph Mo text. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, it's nice. It's being slow. Just close my browser here. So it's just me. And this. Okay, just let me pause. For some reason, it's starting to be slow. Okay, so here it is. Uh, text object in. Uh, just line it up how you would want it. Um, put mine like, like so. Uh, do I have any presets? Of course I don't. Okay, so just let me put a preset into here. Uh, 920 by 1080. Uh, your save is going to be PNG with an alpha channel. Anti-aliasing is at best. Then 2x2x4x4. Two b two by two by four by four. Effect ambient occlusion and glomo illumination. And then I usually put depth of field in now. Alright, so there we go. So let's just move this right here. And we'll just make it say the usual tutorial. Tut. 75 depth, uh, caps, uh, fillet, and a fillet cap, sorry, fillet cap at three, that should be good, and, uh, just pick a, actually, you know what, I don't really want to, whatever, um, I do like this, uh, deck, I've only used it actually once, um, and then I got R13s, I used it when I had R12, and I forgot to get it, and I just never used it again, and I just used other type of things, and, uh, I was just, uh, looking through my rendered out images, and that one was in there, and I was like, okay, hey, start using that one again, uh, not many other people, um, uh, remember actually seeing a background on there, except for the one I made, with noise deformer. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's. Uh, oh my god, I hate that when that happens. Okay. Um. Uh, let's just use, um, lobster. Alrighty, so put that in. Right here. And you're gonna wanna go plugins. Uh noise, noise, noise. Where's noise deformer? And I believe I haven't used this in so long. You drop the text on the noise deformer or the noise deformer on the text. There we go. Okay, so now once the noise deformer is on your text, it'll load up to being crazy. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna turn you can turn your max strength down to this is like the actual strength. 
So let's just turn this up to, and also you can go the other way. So like it shrinks the fillet caps, but obviously you don't want that. So I'm going to put this at five for now. Okay. And then you can go to noise and you can actually change the noise. So, um, Luca, I'm going to put it on to, I believe that's actually the one I actually used. And now you can turn it to different things. You can go to, um, yeah, you can just change all of this, the wind on it or whatever. But once that, or you can change it to spherical or X axis but, or the Z axis or the Y axis, you know, you can just change it normal. So I'm going to put it to, and I'm going to turn, and then I'm going to put this to 10. So now when you render, I don't have any, all right, well, turn these two things off so it just goes out quick. Okay, so let's put this on. Make it, hold on, let me just go faster. Okay. Okay. See, you know, uh, it's a, maybe a different font will help, so I just uh, put literal Syria, but it doesn't really do much. Like, I mean, because the thing, uh, just, let's see, try to, try to get a good font here. Um, oh yeah, that's beauty. Goth and black. Well, you know, we'll just, just show you there. Well, it's uh, kind of like the ripple effect. The reason I actually got it was because of the ripple effect because I didn't know how to use it before. So what you can also do is just go to your text and you can go to caps and turn that to cap and cap. But then it kind of looks stupid. So yeah, usually you're going to want these fillet caps on there. And uh, that's about it, guys. So that's Noise Deformer. It's quick, simple, easy, but it is kind of nice. Cause also, if you go onto my top view here, you can kind of like actually see in there. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I, I kind of like the effect. Uh, but yeah, up to you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And subscribe, rate, and comment, and everything. And I'll bring out more tutorials. Peace.